Hi, this is Elena and welcome to the second part of Marvelous Designer Tool by Tool tutorial. So let's begin. Today I'm going to explain these three tools together because I think uh, they are too simple to just dedicate one whole tutorial to them. So first tool is a rectangle tool that its shortcut is S. It's simple, you just, for example, if you want to make a skirt, you just click and drag. And then it will appear on your 3D window. But if I'm going to give measures numbers to its length and height I should just once click left click on the screen and then this box appears here you can give numbers like I need something if I was about to make a sleeve I need a 17 to 60. Okay, I cannot see it like this. Or uh, if you had something 2 by 3 centimeters like this. But then you, for some reason you need this proportion, but with bigger numbers or on the contrary you just should click here you should lock it and then every number that you write here like six six hundred like six the height also changes also vice versa if I here click six also the width will uh, change Okay, the next thing is if you want more copy like uh, I don't know for some type of um, Skirts, maybe you need more than just one one square or I don't know rectangle Here You write the distance like if it's like uh, it's 50 to 50 uh you let me see let me show you from this distance i choose 20 to 20. okay i say i need two copy and if it's 20 i should uh insert something more than 20 like 22 for having this instance because this 20 is from the center of this shape to another center that's why it should be more than their width then if you don't want it to be horizontal or uh, vertical and you want it diagonal diagonal you can change it in this way and here you insert numbers. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the next tool, ellipse. Ellipse is just like a rectangle. You click and drag. You click and drag and you can have all types of ellipses. But if you want a circle, you hold shift and drag. Hold shift and drag. But for example, if you need at this point to be your center and also you want a circle, you need to hold control and shift together and click and drag oh 
I okay. <laughs> I left it. And okay, but if you just left click, you see there is all another world here. You can change the dimension based on diameter, radius, circumstance, like if you want it to be 59, for example, then it gives you a circumstance of 59 or maybe something, uh, what do you call, uh, which is near, near to that number, let's see. Here you can see, here on your property editor and 2D line, if you chose all of them together, you can see it's 5896. It's near to the number that we gave it. And okay, ellipse, its shortcut is E. And then again, like rectangle, you can have multiple of circles and ellipses. You can give it an angle. And you can insert the distance. The next one is a spiral. Here you cannot drag. Maybe you don't know how this, uh, the spirals are made. It's made of circles, so many circles together. It's maybe maybe you don't need to change numbers here. But for the length, I can tell you that for the inner part, it means here the yellow line that you're looking at, and the outer is the black line and the sides it means this side this is the inner in the circle in the in the spiral and outer you're too much okay outer outer side is this one okay then you can tell if you want it clockwise or not And then that is what you need to know. And for the spiral, for understanding, understanding it better, I'm going to show you an example. An example. An example. Where is our example? Like, for example, I have this model. I'm going to give or so a spiral here on the color. What should I do? Okay, I have the spiral. The spiral doesn't have shortcut. First of all, I should say my measures. It's 4260. Okay. 4260. I'm going to sew the inner side to my uh, garment. What should I do? The inner side. It was 42. Okay, I forget. Uh, 42. Okay, if I want the outer side, uh, it will affect also the, in the inner um, length. So it's better to not to change it. Press OK. Now I sew this part to this part. OK. Maybe it's better to okay. Now you see, even for seeing it better, I give it another color.
now you see the use of spiral. You see, it's beautiful. And yes, now we are done here. And I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and bye.